This video is honoring Sweet Lou Whitaker. On August 6, 2022, he got his number retired, and no other Detroit Tiger will ever wear the number one ever again. On his special day, Lou was being pulled in 50 million directions. I know his head had to seem like it was on a swivel, but this guy gave the monthly standard an interview. What a great guy. Great baseball player, but more than that, he's a great man. And here's the tribute to Lou. This is all raw footage from the ballpark itself, shot with this telephone. To help Lou celebrate a special day, he was joined by his ex-teammates, one of which is Willie Horton, one of the grizzled veterans from the 1968 Tigers World Series team. And yes, he was on the Tigers when Lou was a rookie. Now, this isn't a teammate. This is his old manager from the Florida Instructional League, where Lou won the Most Valuable Player Award. And Jim Leland was his manager. Now, later on in Jim's career, he became the Tigers manager and took him to a couple of World Series uh, unfortunately, we didn't win those World Series, but we were there. So we were the American League champions under his tutelage. And I got to tell you, before we go to the other guys that were there to honor Lou, Jim is a card. Uh, he told us about his boxing career. And uh, he said, uh, you know, he had many fights and many knockouts. And he said that he was knocked out one time after a fight for about four hours, the dude had us rolling. He is a funny guy. Could have been a comic if he wasn't a baseball manager. Great dude. Here's three of Lou's teammates from the 84 championship team. We have Lance Parrish, catcher. In the middle, we have Larry Herndon, left fielder. And to the right, that's Dave Rosema, starting pitcher. Here's more of his teammates. This is starting pitcher Jack Morris, also a Baseball Hall of Famer and also a Wall of Honor inductee as well. No one will ever wear the number 47 for the Detroit Tigers again. In the middle, that's Tom Brookins, great third baseman. And to the right, that's Dan Petrie, another great starting pitcher. And we have to note that Willie Horton is also a Wall of Honor inductee, no one will ever wear the number 23 in a Tiger uniform again. Before the ceremony, Miguel Cabrera, uh, and who we know he's going to be a first ballot Hall of Famer, he came out to uh, honor the Whitaker family, and, and here he is uh, with uh, Mrs. Lou Whitaker. And here they are, right here. Uh, this is... Lou's brother and sister sitting alongside his wife, and Lou's sister, uh, that's uh, David, and that's uh, his sister Matilda, and uh, I tell you, uh, they look exactly alike, Matilda and Lou, and then uh, in the background are uh, uh, nephews and many friends, I'm sure, from the Martinsville, Virginia area who came to honor Lou Whitaker. And as you can see in the background there, there's a lot of fans in the stands for this event. A lot of fans. Before the ceremony, Lou went down to the Tiger dugout and uh, the current Tigers, they paid homage to Lou as they should. Here's Lou's longtime double play partner, Alan Trammell. Let's hear from Alan. He definitely had great words for Lou. Why, well, yes, for four years, I've been uncomfortable. I'm extremely honored and grateful to have my number three retired. There wouldn't be a number three on the wall without number one. Today, we are going to give Lou the love and respect that 
truly deserves. That's right. This is Lou Whitaker's plaque from the Michigan Sports Hall of Fame. And let's listen to uh, what Lou has to say while you guys uh, read his plaque. After the ceremony still being graceful and personable we honor you Lou you have honored us for years by being the consummate professional Lou stops to sign autographs what a great guy what a great guy As I said, now this video is uh, raw footage. It's uh, it was recorded live, right at, on the ballpark, right. Uh, so it's not uh, the television footage. But if you guys want to want to see uh, a little bit more uh, uh, refined footage, uh, check out this video, "Sweet Loose Speech" with surprise footage in it, and you have to see the surprise footage. It's great. You won't believe what you see. But this video isn't over yet. Because we still have the Sweet Lou interview to go. Hey folks, this is Sweet Lou Whitaker on his special day, August 6th, 2022. He got his number retired by the Detroit Tigers and he deserved it. Everyone was asking for autographs, uh, interviews, everything. I mean, Lou's head was just spinning. It, and so I understand... If, I would understand if he didn't grant me an interview, but he did. And man, thank you, Lou. Thank you. So let's uh, take a look at the interview he granted me. Monthly standard interview with Lou Whitaker. He just got his number retired. Uh, baseball great Detroit Tiger great and future Hall of Famer. Uh, Lou, how do you feel having your number retired? I'm happy that it's all said and done, but on this day, but it will be something that I will go up here in the uh, sweet name and maybe stand a little bit and really absorb it, take it all in. Uh, well, I'm truly honored and uh, very fortunate to yeah. have something like that happen to me. Uh, well, well, Lou, we love you in Detroit. You're truly a Detroit Tiger great, and I thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. You too. 
And that was the Lou Witter interview with the Monthly Standard. What a gentleman. What a ball player. And take a look at this article. Lou Whitaker should be voted into the Hall of Fame. The Contemporary Era Players Committee will make the decision. This article appears in the August-September 2022 edition of the Monthly Standard newspaper. And uh, so we, we show the stats of Alan Trammell and Lou Whitaker. And uh, Lou Whitaker uh, is uh, comparable. Actually, he surpasses Alan Trammell on very uh, important stats. He does. He just does. Alan Trammell has a higher average by nine points at 285 to 276. But uh, Lou has more hits, more home runs, more doubles, more triples, more runs batted in, more runs scored. And Alan Trammell has more stolen bases. It's important to note that uh, Alan Trammell played 20 seasons. Lou accumulated his numbers in 19 seasons. So in one less season, and he beats uh, Alan, his uh, teammate, who's in the Hall of Fame, uh, by playing one less season. And uh, so, so he not only beats Alan Trammell, but he beats other second basemen who are in the Hall of Fame and it, it just is incredible. Loose 276 batting, batting average is better than five current Hall of Famers, including Joe Morgan. Nine Hall of Famers have less hits than Whitaker, including Chicago Cubs great Ryan Sandberg. Lou has more home runs then 15 second basemen in the hall. Roberto Alomar is one of them. Famed Murderer's Row second baseman Tony Lazzari has less runs batted in than Lou. The numbers don't lie. Lou Whitaker deserves to be inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Hopefully this article be, will be read by voters on the Contemporary Era Committee. And hopefully they will realize that honoring sweet Lou Whitaker is justified and frankly the right thing to do. Yes, it is the right thing to do to honor sweet Lou Whitaker. To read this article, look for this cover, Outer Space as Never Seen Before. This is the August-September 2022 edition of the Monthly Standard. Sweet Lou Whitaker, Street Hockey in the D, page 8. And just go to this website and you could read the story. www.themonthlystandard.news You can read this story and see this video on the website. And there's a whole lot of great content on the website. Click the archive tab and see some of the older issues. Just scroll down on the page and there's so many videos you can see. You can spend all day on the Monthly Standard website. Thank you for watching this video. And have a great day. This has been a Monthly Standard production.